Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing today? I just got back from Aldi and I found a sluthering of vegan item. And I just had posted that we never get any good vegan items at my Aldi. And now I have to say that I have to correct myself because they actually had everything they advertised for a change. So I wanted to show you all the great new items that are vegan at Aldi. So again, I got some regular produce, obviously. I got some zucchini because I'm going to do some zucchini noodles this week. And just some regular frozen items. I like their broccoli. It's really good. I got some medleys. And I got some chopped spinach. I love their chopped spinach. It's just so easy to add to your smoothies, to your pastas. Anytime you want to add a little green to anything, um, it's way cheaper than buying the fresh spinach and cooking it down. This is way more economical. So I always make sure I have frozen spinach in my freezer in a pinch for whenever you want to add some greens to anything that you're cooking or any of your smoothies or any of your dishes. You're always good to go with frozen spinach. You can't go wrong with that. So the new items that they had. So they had their um, shred, their cheddar style shreds back. They still had their mozzarella. I have some of that in my fridge. Now I do follow a plant-based diet for the most part. I do have treats here and there, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty honest here. These are more, again, I like to incorporate it more for my husband. Um, because I like to try to get him to eat more plant-based. So if I can find some stuff that I can get him to try out and he likes it, that's a win for plant-based or at least for the vegan community. So I always like to try that. Anyway, so we have the um, cheddar shreds. And so if I'm not using my nutritional yeast or if I have friends coming over and I want to make something that we'll all eat, that, you know, that they'll be more tempted to eat, then I'm going to try these. I do find that their cheese is pretty good there. Not going to lie. It's not bad. And it's a pretty good price. So shredded cheddars, that's definitely a good one. Now they had their um, ravioli back. Now we, I have had this last year and the year before. They had the eggplant one and the spinach one. I'm going to be honest, the eggplant I didn't pick up because I just find it doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't have a lot of flavor. I do really like the spinach one, and I zhuzh it up with a really good sauce and add a punch, a punch more of flavor. Um, and I do find that it is excellent. Um, and it is a quick meal. And if you want, again, with I find with Aldi is like once it comes out with something, um, you need to stockpile it because it's not going to last, and then they're not going to get it back. And that's the only problem I find with Aldi. It's not like it is in Europe because I follow a lot of people in Europe and they just seem to have an uh, amazing vegan section which is around all year round. We don't have that here, I don't find in the States. It's just hit or miss, especially here in Chicago. I mean, if it's different where you are in the States, let me know. Leave me a message because they used to have great pizza. Haven't seen it since. Again, it just comes out. They used to have great cream cheese. It was at Christmas time. Haven't seen it in two years. Again, we just make our own now. But anyway, um, so let me know if you've tried this. I like the spinach one way better than the eggplant. Um, and they freeze great, so stick them in your freezer. And when you need a quick meal, add a simple sauce to it, and you're good to go. Um, ice cream. So I already can tell you, my husband loves all the ice cream. They also had the ice cream bars, and I have purchased those before, and they are fabulous. Um, they are a pretty good price. They're about $3.69, I believe, and you get three bars, which isn't bad. They're like $1.20 a bar. Um, and I didn't buy them again just because they get eaten way too fast, and we don't need to have that in the house. I'd rather make my nice cream out of bananas and cocoa powder or strawberries or something. And so for me, better not to have them in the house. Um, but we do have, I did get the vanilla ice cream and the chocolate ice cream again. Um, we do like to have like one scoop on a cone or whatever, you know, here or there. These are absolutely delicious. You cannot tell that they're plant-based um, or vegan. And they're made with almond milk. So definitely a plus on that. Um, now their 
phase, their Thai dumplings are also back. So I have tried these again last year. So these are a return. And again, I don't know why they don't have them all year round. Like they're delicious. They're easy. They're easy to make. You can pan fry them. I, I make them without the oil in a nonstick skillet with a little bit of water. You just have to be a little bit more careful. Use a really good nonstick um, pan. Um, or you can even put them in your air fryer. They are delicious. Both of them are wonderful. So if you're looking for, again, another quick meal, and these freeze fabulous, fabulously. So again, stock up. If you have a freezer, throw them in your freezer. They last for a really long time. And um, they're great with just a, um, a sweet and sour kind of dipping sauce. No, no oil one. And these ones are actually, these are actually plant-based. So those ones are plant-based. So those ones you're safe with. They actually came out with new um, dinners that are actually plant-based. This one, they did have um, these kind of microwave dinners before, which were fabulous too. And again, they were here for a little while. I stocked up on them because they were great to take to work for lunches and stuff because you just threw them in the microwave. Those were fabulous. And hello, Aldi. Why do you get rid of everything that's plant-based that's fabulous? So now they've come back with these ones. I'm going to give them a try. I got one of each. Um, and sure enough, I'm going to like them. And I'll go back and they'll be gone because um, I didn't want to buy the case. That's not very nice to go <laughs> in and buy the case and leave nothing for anybody else. Um, for all those people who do that, you know who you are. Um, so there's a spicy Korean beef style bowl. Um, and that is plant-based with mixed vegetables, barbecue style. Looks like it has rice with it. Really should have my glasses. And then they have a, a Thai sweet chili chicken bowl. So they sound like similar to the ones they had last time. I believe the one they had last time, there was a orange chicken. They had four last time. Anyway, they were like ready in five minutes. There's nine, nine, in the chicken there's nine grams of protein and in the beef there's 14. Let me grab my glasses. Let me get you some nutritional facts. Sorry. So there's only 3.5 grams of fat, which I think is fabulous. The sodium is 650 milligrams, which isn't bad for one of these. Some of those other plant-based things are your whole daily in one. Yeah, and it looks like it's on rice. Yep, tender rice it's for the beef one. And same thing with the chicken. And the chicken is only 1.5 grams of um, fat. So those are awesome. Like that's still plant-based. You're still, you're still doing it. Okay, next are some cheeses that I found, which I thought was really cool. My husband likes blue cheese, so I thought um, I'll make like a base with one of my tofu mayonnaise and add some blue cheese in when we're, you know, having like a salad or something. He does like blue cheese. So this is dairy-free, vegan. It says right on it, blue style cheese crumbles. Allergen-free, gluten-free. Let me see. So this one is high in fat. This one has nine grams of fat. But I guess for somebody who's like a meat eater or carnivore coming over to a vegan, if you're looking for something to replace blue cheese, that would definitely be a thing. And then they also had the vegan feta crumbles, which I'm interested to see how they go against Trader Joe's or anybody else's. Um, yeah, so you get half a cup. Again, still vegan. And then they also I came out with sliced cheeses. So I grabbed one of each just to see if my husband liked them or not. Um, they had the mozzarella style slices and then they had the cheddar style slices. So I guess these will be really good on like the plant-based burgers. You know, I have a recipe for plant-based burgers using TVP, I'll link it up here. Those are delicious on the grill with a nice slice of cheese maybe. We'll give those a try, see if we like them or even the mozzarella or double up the cheese if you're treating yourself. Who knows guys, come on. Just because we're vegan, plant-based, I honestly really, sometimes don't like the labels. I just kind of like to be, 
I'm not hurting animals. I'm trying to take care of myself. Sometimes a few treats are not bad. That's what I'd like to say. Right? Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Run out to Aldi. See what you have at your Aldi. Leave me some comments down below what you can find at your Aldi that are vegan or plant-based. And tell me where, what part of the country you're at. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.